Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the bubble. I'm playing Shield Wall again today, and I'm super excited because we had an update uh, recently, and we have a new faction in Shield Wall. We have Persia, one of the most impressive um, military nations, I guess, or military powers in history. So I'm really excited to play them. We can have uh, Darius as our hero, or Xerxes, who uh, fought Leonidas, Princess of Persia, which of course also would be cool. We have Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, I recognize that one from the Matrix, but really cool as well. And we have Darius, of course. And that's our heroes for Persia. So I think uh, since I have Alexander for Greece, I might actually play as Darius on this one. No, I want to go with Xerxes and we'll have Leonidas uh, as a hero for Greece. And let's just have Ramses for the Egypt. So um, this is going to be really cool. We're going to play the map of Arar River, the very first uh, map to play on Shield Wall. And let's get into it. I'm super excited. I haven't played Persia yet, but look at that hero. Look at the underwear. Underwears of gold. Super cool hero. I just gotta grab a print screen on that one. He has an axe and a shield. Super cool. And we're, I'm also really excited to see what axe, uh, what the soldiers we have. We, we can upgrade to axemen. We can upgrade to immortals. This is gonna be so cool. And also, hopefully, we're gonna get some really cool, um, some really cool uh, standard choices as well we can get attack speed and movement speed health per seconds and movement speed and negative cost so the troops can be really cheap and really fast basically which is gonna be really cool and if we look at yeah we have 80 20 for our militia I mean that is pretty standard um, at least I know that Rome has it too they are so cool Look at these guys, the Persians, majestic beards. And I also think it's really cool that he's running around with an axe. I think that's super dope. Just look at that, the Persian troops. I'm also really excited to try out the uh, Immortals because hopefully there are gonna be some really epic troops. Hire some more, some def a defender here as well, and he's still uh, he's still rocking the spear, the the spear for um, for this long distance attacks. But still the axe for close quarters, that's super cool. And we won that one. Too bad for Leonidas. I actually feel a bit bad because, uh, of course, if you watch the movie 300, you kind of root for the, uh, you kind of root for the Greeks. But of course, now we're playing as Persians, and we want to win. So fun to play a new faction. Super excited to uh, see the other troops as well. And it doesn't seem like anyone has captured either B or F. I mean, the Greeks were trying. And it doesn't seem like anyone is attacking our home base either. So I would really want to know what Egypt is up to. There they are. So cool. Look at the hats. I don't really know what to think about these hats. But now we're able to perform an upgrade. I might want to go with the standard main sign so I can see what those can be for Persia. We have negative higher costs attack speed and then of course we have flag capture speed as always so basically Persia you can make really fast troops that cost really really little so if I took this one and just took all the negative cost uh, upgrades as well these troops would be super cheap so I would be uh, able to very quickly build up a very fast army I actually think I'm gonna go with that one look at that super cool Xerxes. It actually looks more like Darius, I guess. 
But here they come. Ramses is really cool as well with the golden uh, with the golden mask. I think it's really cool. But I'll get into it with oh my god. That was not very godlike. Look, he bleeds gold. That's cool. But that was not very uh, good close quarters, close combat on my end. But hey, we did get a lot of gold though. Really a lot of gold. And we get our first upgrade. Let's go with... I think I want better healing powers, but I also want... I would just want them to be really cheap. I want my troops to be really, really cheap. So I'm gonna go with that one. And the Greeks are still coming. They are many. And I do not have enough troops. Well, that. I'm actually gonna run back. The great Xerxes, God King of Persia will retreat because those uh, guys are a bit too strong for me but I will start hiring some Axemen now to test out that um, that unit as well and the Axemen has the same stats as um, as the Spearmen for the other uh, for the other factions so it's plus 10 health and the same damage And Egypt is coming down again. And I wonder if Greece will be attacking my home base. I really hope not. I really hope that. The shields are really cool for Persia as well. Kind of reminds me of the um, Myrmidons of Troy. Oh. At least our troops will be really ch really cheap to recruit. That's good. So, now we're not we're not that cheap yet. 16 for axemen and 15 for militia. Still 20 for the defenders. That's because my standard is dead. That's too bad. I'm just gonna hire a crap load of Axemen and I'm gonna go straight to capture the B from Greece. But there they are. Looking all scary as hell. Hopefully Egypt will um, attack them from the rear. Look at how cool he's looking with his banana hammock in pure gold. The God King Xerxes. I actually like that they put so much. I mean, they did put a lot of details into it, I think. That's cool. And now we got our standard back. And that means that, got, that Axeman costs 12, Militia 11.3, and Defenders 15. So I do get some pretty reasonable discounts. And. I will wait a bit with getting my uh, with getting my immortals. I will wait that we're just six minutes and twenty seconds in so far. But like I said, basically the Persians they can move really fast, attack really fast, and also they can be really really cheap. But I didn't see that they had any block buffs or any uh, damage buffs. No damage buffs and no blocking buffs either and I mean these um, and the standard main sign had flag capture speed and it had attack speed and also um, decrease uh, the cost the recruitment cost so 
still really cool. And now they are attacking D, and it's Egypt. Coming down, but I have some really good buffs right now. And they do not want to fight Persia. Especially when the Xerxes has a big axe to swing around. Look at that. Oh my god. I did not see that one coming. My standard is down again though. That's too bad. I also think it was a new voice. Oh my, I just died quickly. Looks like Greek uh, Greece won this one. Won the battle for the D. And I need to replenish my whole army. Going full out Axemen on this one. And now I guess Egypt is attacking F. So I'll try to run down there before um, they capture it. Fortunately I had a bunch of defenders. And now it's really cheap, at, in, uh, also. I mean, Axemen just uh, went down to cost like eight um, for a second there. And now I got a full stack of uh, negative cost for troops, which means that I have a total buff of 30% uh, decreased higher cost. And that's gonna be a lot. And especially. I get 10 for each full stack, so if I get two full stacks uh, additionally, that means that I have negative uh, that I have 50% discount on troop hiring costs. And if I blow the horn, I can hire for free for five seconds, seven with the upgrade. So in that sense, the buffs really stack up a lot. And I mean, um, instead of paying like 20. For each soldier, imagine replenishing an army of 15, 20 per soldier, that's like 300 for a whole uh, new squad of 15 that you can just save. So that's of course gonna be huge later on. And it would also be really huge like in uh, on maps where... <clears throat> It costs where they have catapults, so you're losing a lot of troops. That would uh, those buffs would really stack up as well. But now I want immortals on this field, so I'm gonna get that upgrade, and then I'll send all of my troops. Let's see. I think we're gonna try to go and attack uh, the E base. Seems like we were late to it though. Seems like Greece is already on it, but we have a lot of troops here as well. And now, getting even more um, cost cost discounts, uh, recruitment discounts. And we are making headway into these Greeks. Look at that. I didn't lose that many troops actually. And we're gonna capture this base. And then I'm gonna replenish my army with a bunch of immortals and it's gonna be awesome. I bought the upgrade uh, so it uh, goes a lot quicker to repair my gate as well. Because um, Greece destroyed it. They completely destroyed the gate. So now I'm gonna buy a couple of defenders and then immortals cost 13. Look at what happens with the cost under the immortals 13. Six. <laughs> Basically got get the best uh, the best troops in Persia for free almost. That's super cool. Really uh, really useful upgrade. However, like you don't get 
any damage buffs or anything like that or or, um, or blocking buffs but I mean oh look at the swords they're so cool super cool uh, I mean you don't get any damage buffs or block buff buffs but you do get like Increased movement speed if you want that and attack speed as well you can get insane attack speed out of these boys if you change the main sign and also um, um, if you change the main sign and also um, change the upgrades for the standard better of course but I want to I want super cheap troops so I'm going with that one Oh, my god. Let's go, Immortals. You're supposed to be really good. And Xerxes is supposed to be immortal, but he's not, I guess. Going with another upgrade. 40% discount on hiring my troops, and that's without the horn. I'm looking so much forward to... Uh, when I'm gonna be able, when I'm gonna blow the horn. Recruiting a bunch of more immortals. And we're gonna go at it again. I had a lot of troops left though. But we're going straight for the B base. Such a cool army. I wonder where blue is gonna come from now. Probably the Thunder Base. From the sea. The very northwest. And it would be really cool if I'm able to capture that base as well. Let's go. They are going for D, so I'm gonna go and um, put them out in that uh, camp as well. Oh wow! They have swordmen and spearmen, no hoplites yet, which I am of course very grateful for. Going with another um, of decreased hiring cost. There they come, the Greeks. Hopefully they're gonna follow me all the way down to F. And then I'm gonna hire a crap load of uh, immortals. They're not cheap though. They're quite expensive compared to um, when I have my banner alive. And it looks like we have Leonidas right there. And he killed the crap out of me, unfortunately. But I'm gonna respawn in a couple of seconds and then look at that. The Immortals are doing a great job. And now the hiring cost was decreased. But Unfortunately, I managed to replenish my army before that. So now they only cost 11, which is basically, which is really uh, not a lot, to say the least. That's really cheap. And it's gonna get even more cheap. Oh, look at that. Are they gonna throw another volley at me, you think? Drop the shields, you cowards. Oh my god. Really impressive soldier there. So now we have 50% discount. 
as long as the standard is alive, it's 50% discount. And as soon as we're gonna get this flag up, my standard is alive, so we're gonna blow the horn, and we got a bunch of um, immortals really cheap. I didn't see really what the cost went down to though, but hopefully it was not a lot. The Greeks are coming back. So far, they're not getting with hoplites. Which I, of course, appreciate. Oh, wow. Come on. There we go. Look at that. This must be a terrifying sight for the Greeks. We didn't lose a single immortal. I didn't even know how that's possible. It did take uh, the B side though. But they can take the B side. Here they're coming back. And I want to see what. Go get them, boys. And Xerxes will come down with his axe. Look at that, I killed two on my own. That was really good for my self-esteem. And look at that. Blue and gold, or yellow, but I'm, I'll prefer gold, especially since I'm Persian. And we have so much money. Are you sure that Persia doesn't get like 100% income of gold? Because right now we're stacking it up. And I think we're gonna decrease cost even more. Now they're attacking my home base though. I do not like that one bit. However, if I just get there in time, they haven't even brought down my gate yet. So I will not be taking this base right now. But rather, if they manage to bring down my gate, like they just did, it will be easy for me to just run in and recapture it, even if they do capture my base, so it's okay. However, I did not have the um, I did not have enough population space to recruit defenders in the last base. But we have Leonidas and his standard bearer right there. Kill him there. So short work. Hired some more defenders right here. And now I guess they will be running for their home base, for C. Look at that, I have so much money, it's crazy. Two thousand. Let's ch say it's all just because um, I have so cheap recruitment costs. I'd say that they're gonna take the base so quickly as long as they as soon as they bring down the gates. Oh, it was D. Let's go boys. Camel, camel. Oh my god, they killed me. Greeks are quite efficient. I did hire defenders at this base. Really bums me out that my standard guy died. 
That's too bad. Mm. Makes it so expensive to recruit troops nowadays. But I guess we're gonna try to uh, to wipe them out now, to not prolong the round more than necessary. But these guys are really cool. I'm uh, I'm really pleased with how uh, how they built the Persian Empire. Like really cheap recruitment cost. It would have been really cool if they only like only Persia had um, had an upgrade to getting them the ability to include five more troops or something like that because if you remember in um, the battle for Thermopylae it's rumored that they had like a million guys so that would have been really cool but a really low recruitment cost is the next best thing because then you can really replenish your troops super quickly and so you can basically just outproduce all of your adversaries. There we go. Oh my god, he one shot at me. And my standard is dead yet again. Come on, man. Why do you keep dying all the time? But hey, I got another force of 14 immortals. And I will throw them straight into the combat yet again. And it looks like they are starting to run out of troops almost. Working my way with the. Oh my god! <laughs> That's the least immortal group of immortals I've ever seen in my entire life. And I haven't seen that many, so that doesn't count for much. But if I get my standard back right here... Yeah, there we go. And blow the horn. And recruit immortals for free! Still zero. And now they're back to nine. Super expensive. Nine per unit? Come on! It's crazy. How cheap you can make the, your troops. I usually don't use the um, the cost, the decreased cost um, upgrade. But now when I play as Persia, I thought it was quite fun. And I think they're gonna break on my forges like water on rock. If they even manage to break down the gate. But don't worry guys, I'm coming. The defenders are also looking really cool. It feels like they made... Um, I mean... The spearmen or the militia from Persia wasn't that detailed. But uh, like the immortals and also the axemen, I thought they were really cool. And we're gonna get one last... Upgrade. There we have it, folks. 23 minutes and 20 seconds of pure joy. Uh, quite easily wiped out uh, Egypt. But Achilles' cousin, Patroclus, playing with the hero of Leonidas. Bit of a different in years, but uh, still playing as Persia. Completely new faction. Uh, focused on cost, uh, cost efficiency, or rather the decreased recruitment cost, uh, which made the Immortals, the um, main troop, or every one of them basically, free when you blow the horn, and half priced other than that. Uh, really cool details on the guys, I really like that uh, the Immortals were part of it, and also Xerxes, uh, which was the um, here, of course, I look forward to play because I thought that one would bring in the most um, possibility for details, and they didn't disappoint, making him like um, from the movie 300 with all the gold details and running around in his uh, in his underwear almost. I guess his underwear, uh, but still, it was really cool. Really pleased with the Persian Empire, and it looked like 
Um, the gold came in a really fast compared to playing the campaign. Uh, still, really cool first game playing with uh, the new faction Persia. Hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like. And uh, if you have any tips or tricks up your sleeve that would help me in my shield wall game, feel free to comment them down below. Have a great day.